can this little bottle and some booze turn a table beer, a small beer, into regular beer? I haven't the slightest. And uh, I am a skeptic as you are. And to be fair, I actually don't even like this beer. And I didn't even like this beer before I became a beer snob. And who would, in their sane mind, trying stuff out like this? Probably none. But I do these experiments so you don't have to. Let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Why would anyone do this? I will leave that one up to you, if it's for economic reason. Have you tried it? Do you have any experience of this? Comment down below, what do you think of this? So these are brand specific, so this one is for the Swedish beer Norlands Guld, and it's actually for an even smaller beer than this one. This is 2.8%. This recipes for uh, the smaller one, the 2.1%, but I will do my math accordingly. If this can't be done with the 2.8, it probably can't be done with the 2.1 either. But we'll give, we'll give it a go. We'll try them side by side, and uh, as the smaller one is a little bit bigger, we have some left for control. Also, so scientific of me. Done the epic calculations, so I think we will be all right, will this fit into that? Not sure. So this is vodka, Swedish vodka. Wasn't the cheapest one, wasn't the uh, most expensive either. But I didn't want to uh, buy something that was really, really bad. So 37.5%. This is 700 centiliters. It's not, this is <laughs> 70 centiliters, 700 milliliters. And this is to, supposed to go into a 75 centiliter bottle, but just gonna wing it. Let me pour some of this out. I'm not a spirit drinker myself, so I am wasting a lot of money here. I can't see myself doing this after this video. This is for <laughs> educational purposes only. So, going in, and so as I said, this is brand specific. This is supposed to make your small beer. This was kind of a syrup, syrupy. This is a beer essence. Woo, that smells weird. So this is supposed to make the beer not just more alcoholic, it's also it's supposed to bring the flavor of a, of a full beer to a small beer. In Swedish alcohol taxes, you can produce and sell beer up to 2.8% without any alcohol taxes on them. And that's why this beer exists. They also are a beer, also 3.5%, but that's more expensive and it's uh, also a lower version, 2.1%. Uh, that's for like people who are having them in Sweden when uh, on weekdays to lunch, like stuff like that. And we also now have, uh, of course, alcoholic free. So we get most back, I think. This should give this a good, good shake. Have you seen the shake and brew videos yet? What do you think about those? The instruction says to buy a bunch of uh, bottles, 33 centiliters, and add three centiliters of this mixture to it at like 40%. But I've done my math and I will add 25 milliliters of this mixture to 33 centiliters, so we will see uh, approximately how much, because this is 33. 2.8% weren't available in 33 centiliters, only the 3.5. So you're supposed to buy beer bottles, decap them, aka open them, and uh, change out 3 centiliters of beer for 3 centiliters of this mixture, and recap them and leave it for two days, but here we will do it as a cocktail instead. We're skeptical and 
not sure that I will do this again, but we'll do it in the name of science. So this is the regional one. In Sweden this is called strong beer, but that does not translate good to other languages. Because strong beer, we, we're calling that around 5%. Actually, legally, everything over 3.5 would be called strong beer, but around 5%. Around four and a half, we usually say like middle strength beer. That's just from month to month. Don't have any exact rules on that. But this, if you say I want a strong beer in Sweden, you will get like a 5% beer. Weird, yes. Might sound weird to you. We know how much to, to add. And this is not going to be perfect, but good enough. That's a lot. Uh, this is 15 milliliters. So about there should be about 20, 25. I could have done that better, but it's just YouTube guys. Don't start writing like awful comments. It's just YouTube. Be nice, leave a like. And I'm not saying that you should subscribe to my channel because I know that my channel sucks and if you're subscribed to my channel, it will only encourage me to do more stupid shit here. So, probably, probably don't. And I'm thinking is it's best to add the booze first. This is just how children... I, I should top that up a little bit more. And here's the... Uh, Control. I was gonna use the smaller glass for the control, but now I've used it for for the boost. I'm gonna place those here, so I know what I'm doing. <sighs> Looking at the the color, the uh, I don't know how well you can see it. I think that the what should we call them? The uh, the uh, <laughs> original. And the, we're gonna call we're gonna call this a small beer, okay? Even now it boosts up. I think it's uh, the uh, small beer is a little bit lighter in color. Aroma. Well, this is a Swedish macro lager, okay? So it smells like beer. <laughs> That's it. Sweetness. This smells more like beer, this smells less like beer, not as intensive, if you understand what I'm saying. They should be the same beer, so let's start with the original. Is it as bad as I remember it? Not a fan, but let's just compare it. They do not taste the same. I'm glad that we have the control here, because maybe that would be more interesting. This is mo much more malty, better mouthfeel. This is, does not taste like booze, though. You see the obvious thing that people would do with this if they were doing this, the cocktail method. And I'm guessing that's why they say not to do it this way. And instead, prepare all your beer before and then drink it. Because if this were on a party, I would have started with uh, 25 milliliters, but <laughs> as the evening moves on, yeah, you know what would happen. This would get stronger and stronger and stronger. And I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that would be just me. Would you be guilty of the same thing? Please comment down below. So this is some dangerous shit, I think. So let's look at these two. I think they are the same color. This does look a little bit darker. It could be. We did add something to it. Aroma. About the same. Taste. Go now go from, from the smaller to the bigger. Maybe people were, were doing their own liquor. Maybe this could be a thing, but um, I don't know. I do think I prefer this one. Alcohol 
brings out taste just like fat do in food so it's not it's not just because of alcohol but alcohol is a flavor carrier it also brings sweetness so that is a better beer than the original one but it's not the real thing so let's get wasted Let's add some more here to see what what happens. Let's add another like 10 milliliters of the tincture. This is some mad scientist shit going on here. I will taste it straight, but as I said, I'm not spirits person. I'm not a spiritual person. If Jesus could make wine out of water, of course, the doctor should be able to make beer out of beer. Now this is more alcohol in this one than in the original strong beer. Cheers. Still not boozy. I was thinking this would be boozy. This is so, still not much more flavor. Should we add more? You can see where this is going. This is not a family show. Why am I doing this? Cheers. Still not boozy. This could get really dangerous because if, if you're doing this, yes, go with the taste because this is still not boozy. Should we try this? Straight up, yes, yes, gonna sip it because uh, uh, that's boozy. No, uh, <clears throat> I don't like it. This actually worked much better than I thought it would, and there are several different flavors for other beers. I've just seen Swedish and uh, Finnish beer and had just been like major macro lagers. So the original beer is the favorite, but the spiced up version of the small beer is better than the original small beer. Nice. Now this is a video that YouTube thinks that will suit you very fine, or maybe you can watch this one instead. Cheers and thanks for watching. See you in the, the next one. It's not as bad as I remember it, right? I, won't, I don't think I will buy it again, but...